So it is September and it's a new Power BI update available. So let's go to what's new. Right, so I am not at the FabCon conference in Stockholm. I've been traveling and I'm sick, so <laughs> no conference for me. Um, just so you know, you've been asking me, so I just wanted to let you know. Uh, there is a new Power BI update though, and we're going to go through the stuff. First of all, dark mode. Actually, one of the developers, Haleen, contacted me and said, Ruth, could you please be sure that you mention this that is important for us, which is, number one, you can change back if you change your mind. So if you don't want to have dark mode, you go to options and settings and you'll find it there. Number two, you don't need to restart Power BI if you change modes. And that is useful if you're using the Windows version that it will you know, change to dark at a certain time. So no need to restart, which is nice. And most important of all, it is that the dark mode is for Power BI desktop, not for your reports. Obviously, your reports, you need to decide yourself if you want to have them in dark mode or not. And it's very hard for them to know how you set up your theme and make it dark mode. So that is something that you will have to continue doing. Right, so for a copilot, before you have to specify which page you want to have a summary for, now you can have a summary for everything. And if you want to parry a service and you saw the menu that looks different, it is different. So they're trying to simplify it and there's a new look to it. So you can now set the data type for your visual calculations in the visual format pane. Okay, and there are more options. So if your organization has configured multi-factor authorization for Power BI, now it is available. So you will have to do the whole SMS or authenticator thing to log in into Power BI. You can now have multiple apps per workspace. Before it was one app for everything, now you can have multiple apps. So that's quite nice. And here's the thing, you can now subscribe to report so they get you the last day of the month and you don't have to calculate it. So there is like an option that says last day of the month. You can click on that and then you will get it and Microsoft will do the calculation for you. For the modeling part, they have introduced a fabric metrics layer. Neither the blog nor the video said a lot about it. So I went to check around and um, how to say it. Okay, so. There's now a new layer where you can put metrics that you have for in your reports, in your semantic models, how they call it now, like your data set. So you can grab a metric from here, a metric from here, you can reuse it elsewhere. And obviously you can see the dangers of these. Even if there is a description, when you detach a metric from the model, it gets harder and harder to know how it was calculated. It is hard enough when you have the data and you know the context. So if you detach from it, it's going to be even harder. And it could lead some some misinterpretations and using the wrong metrics for the wrong things. So if you're going to use this, you need to be extremely careful that you do know how that metric was calculated and in which context, right? Because new visitors for marketing is not new visitors for sales or for finance. You just calculate things different depending on the context, so you need to be extremely careful, okay? So you have now live editing of a semantic model in direct lake mode, okay? So if you need that, congratulations. And for the mobile, if you remember before you're going to scan the QR code and it will give you a Power BI report, now you can do the same with NFC tags. Most modern um, reports support NFC, including nowadays Apple, so you can use that. This is meant for manufacturing and logistics and all that stuff, so you can have tags that would tell you like inventory and things like that. And obviously there are other use types, but that's I guess that's the main one that they were thinking about when they created this. And this is it. There's nothing about the data visualization. It's been like radio silence for months and we haven't heard anything. I wonder if they've given up all together, or they are going to give us a big update. It would be nice to know, you know, <laughs> so they say, it's coming, or Copilot will do it now. Like, what is it? It would be lovely to know. I am extremely disappointed that there's so little progress on that front, because it's the one that, in my opinion, probably needs more work, or the most work. <laughs> but yeah, 
this is what we have. Uh, I hope you enjoy this update and I will see you again next week. Bye.